Okay, so in this video we're going to do a little recap on how to multiply out double brackets. So let's say you have x plus 4 in one bracket and x plus 3 in the other. Okay, so what we have with double brackets is we have multiplication, obviously, because the brackets means times, and we have to multiply everything with everything. So in other words, we have to take this term here, x, and multiply it to everything in the second bracket. And we need to take this term here, 4, and multiply it to everything in the second bracket. So everything gets multiplied to everything. So doing that, when we get x multiplied by x, we get, of course, x squared. x multiplied by 3, we're going to get 3x. 4 multiplied by x, we get 4x. And 4 multiplied by 3, we get 12. All multiplication when you're going from that line to that line, remember. Now, we're not quite finished. To get our final answer, what we can then do is simplify this further. And that means we can add together the terms that are the same. And the two terms that are the same here are plus 3x and plus 4x. So what we get as our final answer is x squared, 3x and 4x, is 7x and of course 12. That is our final answer. So when you're going from this line to this line you are adding. When you're going from this line to this line you are multiplying. So just be careful. You have different rules for multiplying with algebra and multiplying with uh, negative and positive numbers uh, than you have for adding. So that's where this can sometimes be a little bit confusing and you've got to play, uh, pay particular attention to what you're doing in each step. Okay, let's try another question. So let's say you had x plus 6 in one bracket and x minus 3 in the other. Okay, so here we got to multiply the x by the x. We get x squared and now we're going to multiply the x by the minus 3. So x times minus 3, I went a little bit too far with my arrow there, x times minus 3 is minus 3x, 6 times x is 6x, positive 6x, and plus 6 times minus 3. Remember, you're multiplying. So a 6 times a minus 3, if the signs are different, remember, it's minus, a plus by a minus is minus, and 6 times 3 is 18. Now we're going to add together our middle terms because they're the same and we get x squared minus 3x add 6x. So minus 3 add 6. Minus 3x add 6x is a 3x minus 18. That is my final answer. Okay, so try this question. Say you had 2x plus 1 in one bracket and x plus 5 in the other. Pause the video and see how you get on with this. So 2x by x is of course 2x squared. 2x by 5 is 10x. 1 by x is 1x or just x. And 1 times 5 is 5. Adding together your middle terms, you have 10x add x or 10x add 1x, which gives you 11x in total. So 2x squared plus 11x plus 5 is the answer. Okay, try this question. Let's say you had um, x minus 4 in one bracket and x minus 1 in the other. Okay, be careful. When we bring negative numbers into it, this can often cause a few issues. So just be very careful here. All right, so x by x will give you x squared. x times minus 1 is minus 1x or minus x. Minus 4 times x is minus 4x. And minus 4 times minus 1. A minus by a minus is plus. 4 times 1 is 4. And now adding together your minus x and your minus 4x, we get x squared minus x minus 4x or minus 1 minus 4 basically is the number work here. That gives you a minus 5x, of course, uh, plus 4. And that is your answer. Okay, last question. Try this one. 
3x minus 2 in one bracket and 2x plus 4 in the other. Press pause, see how you get on with this. Okay, so in this question you're doing 3x by 2x. 3 times 2 is 6, x times x is x squared. Then 3x times 4, well 3 times 4 is 12, and of course you have an x, so it's 12x. Minus 2 times 2x. Minus 2 times 2x. Well, the signs aren't the same, so it's minus. 2 times 2x is 4x. And minus 2 times 4. Again, the signs are not the same, so it's minus. A minus by a plus is minus. 2 times 4, remember you're multiplying at this point, is 8. And now we're adding. So 12x take away 4x leaves us with 6x squared. 12 take away 4 is the number work. 12x take away 4x is 8x minus 8. And that's your final answer.